So the cloning effect is one of the most classic visual effects in the book. It's something that I've been doing since the very beginning of my film career. It's an effect that could be either very simple or can get really complicated. Today, I'll be referencing the cloning effects done in the most recent CK Productions video, Mario Power Ups Logic 2, where every character is played by the same actor. Now, the most obvious way to do an easy clone effect is to use green screen. And that's what we did for the Cherry Mario effect. What we did was film one shot of Joe sitting on the couch, one blank plate behind him, and then one shot at each Mario character in each spot behind the couch while moving the green screen each time we'd shoot a different character. The most important part of any type of cloning effect is to not move the camera. Doing so will make the effect much more difficult or in some cases even impossible. The second cloning shot shown throughout the video was the shot with Cat Mario and Hammer Mario. In order to make this effect work, we shot all the footage of Hammer Mario first and then of Cat Mario. While keeping the camera still, we can line up the clips in the sequence and do a simple mask to merge the two layers together. The important thing is to feather the mask significantly to hide any small inconsistencies and blend the shadows a bit more. Occasionally, an arm will pass over the other character, so it will require an additional mask, but normally this wasn't a lot of frames, and it actually does help to sell the shot more when this happens. Now the biggest and most difficult shot was obviously the group shot. I had done something like this once before in the first Mario Power Ups video. For this one, there were five clones on screen at once, and shots like this can require a lot of planning. First of all, you need to delegate each space each actor needs and picture the final product in your head. You'll want to make sure that no clones are blocking each other's clones too much. You don't want one character completely blocking another character. Of course, you can set up a shot like this where no characters are passing in front of another, and this will make the post-production process pretty easy. But if you really want to sell the effect fully, you'll want to have several characters partially blocking each other and faced at different angles. The problem is, the more you do this, the more time-consuming the effect becomes. You'll have to do some serious rotoscoping. This means either using the roto brush or animating masks for each character and layering them appropriately in After Effects. I'd personally recommend masking. While the roto brush is a bit more automatic, it can slow up your system and it isn't always reliable. No matter what way you take, this shot will take some time. And especially with a shot like this, there's not much room for error. You'll have to consider the amount of time you'll be willing to commit to an effect like this. If it's not possible to spend at least a whole working day rotoscoping, then you want to reevaluate the way you shoot the effect. When it comes to long After Effects sessions, it's important to turn it into a positive and enjoyable experience because rotoscoping is probably the most tedious task you can do in VFX. So put on a nice podcast or binge watch your favorite TV show, but having something good going on in the background you enjoy will help things go by a lot quicker. In the end, be sure to slightly feather your masks as well, or even add some motion blur to smooth things over. Even though it's a lot of work, it'll be worth it. But be sure not to overwork yourself, though. Doing this effect for many, many shots in your sequence can get pretty overwhelming. So I hope this video will help inspire you guys to go out and try your own cloning effects. It's a really good visual effect to start off with if you're a beginner. And be sure to subscribe for more visual effects tips and other detailed tutorials. And we'll go into more editing and filmmaking topics in the coming weeks too. Be sure to comment down below with concepts you'd like me to go over with this channel. With that, I hope you all have a nice weekend, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye everyone.